Today I'm gonna present the radon transformation. Uh, my name is Irfan. A radon transform was invented by and named after the Austrian mathematician Johann Radon uh, in 1917. Uh, one of the major inventions of the last century, uh, the CT, computerized tomography technology, which was invented in 1967 by Dr. Cormack and Hounsfield who got the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1979 was based on this radon transform. Uh, the X-ray CT gets the picture of the internal structure of an object by X-raying the object from many different directions. So it can be like human organs or something like that. Uh, if we just look at the picture on the right, uh, assume this uh, this O is a homogeneous and a photon beam passes through it. This is a homogeneous object and a photon beam passes through it. The I0 is the intensity of the beam before passing this object and I is the intensity of the beam after it passes this object. Uh, here, there's a relationship uh, between this I0 and I, which is I equal to I0 times E to the degree of negative D times zero. The D is the distance traveled by the beam in the object. And the rho uh, denotes the attenuation coefficient or uh, absorption coefficient also called which depends on the density and other physical characteristics of the object so for any different things like uh, we'll have a different row uh, if the object is not homogeneous but consists of two materials with attenuation coefficients of row one and row two then this relationship between i and i zero become uh, i equal to i zero times e to the degree of negative d1 row one negative d2 row two uh, where d1 and d2 denote the distances traveled by the beam in each of the each material Uh, however, for an arbitrary object whose density and physical characteristics is so different everywhere, uh, and the relationship is I equal to I0 times E to the degree of uh, integrating rho over L, where L is a line in R2 traced by the beam. Uh, and uh, rho or L just uh, denotes the line integral of rho over this L line. Uh, since we may initially send the beam in any given direction, we may calculate the above integral for every line in R2. Uh, so we denote the x-ray transform or radon transform in R2 of rho by x of rho times L, that line L, equal to integral of rho or L. Uh, this transform assigns to each appropriate function rho on R2. Uh, on another function x of rho whose domain is a set of lines L and R2. Uh, now here is uh, two problems we should consider. Uh, one is the 
uniqueness problem. Uh, what this means is that uh, uh, like mathematically this asks for a formula giving the inverse of x. So uh, does if we use this rate x-ray on two different objects and get a signal, do we get two different signals? Or like uh, if we use two x-rays on two exactly same objects, the signal we get should be exactly same. So that is the uniqueness problem. Uh, mathematically, if x of rho equal to x of rho dot, then rho should equal to rho dot. Uh, then there's another problem of uh, which is called reconstruction problem. It's rho uh, in terms of x of rho, which basically means uh, reconstruction, reconstructing the function of that row from the data we collected or the x-ray signals uh, which is the x of row we use that to build that actual row so building modeling the actual object actual human organs uh, Here, uh, x of rho actually determines the rho. Uh, we can, uh, this is a pretty reasonable expectation because uh, if we count the dimensionality uh, or degrees of freedom involved, a function rho on R2 depends on two parameters, uh, which are x1 and x2 coordinates. Uh, and uh, function of x of rho, uh, which is a function of lines, uh, is also determined by two parameters, which is the slope of that line and its x2 intercept. So both rho and x of rho uh, uh, has convey an same amount of information. So it's pretty reasonable to assume uh, that x of rho determines the rho. But uh, I will not show the exact, uh, exact proofs for uniqueness problem and the reconstruction uh, formulas here. Uh, but Uh, now, uh, I will talk about the radon transform in R3 dimension. Uh, if O this is an object in R3 determined by a function rho which describes the density and the physical characteristics of this object, uh, send in an Uh, sending an x-ray beam through O determines the quantity uh, integrating rho over L for every line in R3. Uh, here we wish to determine the function in R3 by knowing its integral uh, over all planes in R3. Uh, when we speak a plane, we mean a plane not necessarily passing through the origin. So, uh, so for such a plane, P, uh, we define the radon transform Rf by R of F times P, this plane, equal to integrating F over this plane P. Uh, 
So this uh, first we uh, explain uh, what I mean by the integral of f over a plane. Uh, the description I use for planes in R3 is uh, given a unit vector gamma, 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 uh, this, uh, in, in the sphere, unit sphere, and a number t, which is a distance between the origin to this plane. Uh, we define the plane as p t gamma uh, where uh, x is in r3 and x times gamma is equal to t uh, and this gamma is orthogonal to the plane and the t is as i said is the distance between the origin and this plane Uh, given this uh, function uh, f, uh, which is in uh, this sphere of given di dimension, uh, we need to make sense of its uh, integral over this uh, plane uh, p, t, and gamma. Uh, the way we do this is uh, to choose unit vectors, uh, unit vectors E1, E2, so that E1, E2, and gamma is uh, an orthog uh, orthonormal basis for this R3. Then any x in uh, P, uh, P, T, gamma can be written uniquely as x is equal to t times gamma plus u and here uh, u uh, is equal to u1 times e1 and u2 times e2 uh, so uh, if we apply this incorporate this uh, and then it will become uh, integral of f over this plane uh, will be equal to uh, integrating this f of t gamma plus u1 e1 plus u2 e2 because this is uh, our u uh, with respect yeah it will become this uh, and another thing here is that uh, this definition, this is independent of our choice of vectors E1 and E2. Uh, now uh, we define this the radon transform uh, of a function f in S R3, uh, which is uh, Rf and T gamma is equal to integrating F or this P T gamma. Uh, here again, we will, we will have two problems as we did in uh, radon transform in R2, which is X-ray transform. Uh, we have uniqueness problem, which is if or f is equal to or g then f should equal to g and the uh, second one is the reconstruction problem uh, which is expressing f in terms of or f uh, for the uniqueness problem uh, first uh, we can use a very essential relation between radon and Fourier transform uh, to get this lemma 
which is if f is in s or 3 then for f p gamma is in s or for each fixed gamma uh, or moreover uh, r hat f uh, s gamma is equal to f hat s gamma uh, and here uh, f hat is a three-dimensional Fourier transform of f and r hat uh, f s gamma is the one-dimensional Fourier transform of uh, rf t gamma as a function of t with gamma fixed. Uh, uh, using this uh, lemma, uh, and the difference and applying this lemma uh, to the difference f minus g and use the Fourier inversion theorem we can uh, get and prove this uh, corollary if fg is an s r3 and rf is equal to rg then f is equal to g Uh, so this is how we get the uniqueness problem now for uh, the reconstruction problem uh, we define a dual radon transform uh, which is r star fx is equal to integrating f uh, over f of x times gamma and gamma uh, or the sphere which is basically integrating f or the subset of all planes passing through x uh, now uh, using this uh, identity we can uh, come. We can prove our theorem uh, 5.4, which is if f is in S R3, then delta R star R f is equal to negative eight pi square f. Uh, and here the delta is the Laplacian. And the proof is like this. Uh, by the previous lemma above, we have uh, Rf t gamma is equal to uh, integrating f hat s gamma uh, e to the degree of 2 pi i p s uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity. So Uh, uh, so, so, uh, here, this will, this will become R star, R F and X equal to double integrating, uh, to the unit sphere and uh, and this f hat s gamma uh, times e to the degree of 2 pi i x times gamma s and uh, if we use that uh, the fact that delta uh, delta e to the degree of 2 pi i x times uh, uh, gamma s is equal to negative 4 pi uh, square s uh, 
square times e to e to the degree of 2 pi ix times gamma s, we can come up with this. And then uh, we simplify this using, if we take all those steps, uh, this will become negative 4 pi squared with double integrating this. Uh, and after all simplifications, all those steps, we can get negative uh, 8 pi squared f of x. Uh, so, which means if f is in s r3, then delta r star r f is equal to negative 8 pi squared f. So, we successfully linked the r f to f. Thus, we successfully uh, reconstructed uh, our initial object f by using the data we get from the data we observe. Uh, that's it. Thank you.